All right, everyone, you'll remember that a couple of weeks ago I talked about Judge Rancilio and Jonathan Vanderhagen up in, uh, and, and I'm going to mispronounce it again, fuck it, Macomb County up in, uh, I believe, Michigan. Uh, what had happened is that he, he felt the court had caused his child to die because of a custody battle. I guess they awarded custody to the mother. Uh, the child died in her custody, and he was livid. He was outraged at this. And so he made social media posts basically threatening to dig up the skeletons in the closet of the judge and of the people in the court that he felt had aggrieved him. The judge, um, I guess, talked to the police, sheriff's office or whatever, and said, well, I feel threatened. Tell him to stop. And they told him to cut it out, which violates his First Amendment rights explicitly. You, you can post it. That's not a threat. It's not a threat of violence. It's not threatening any criminal act. It's just saying, look, I intend to attempt to discredit this court because I feel aggrieved by this court. And, 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 you know, it's like judicial overreach times a million. But he said, well, basically, fuck it, and kept posting. They came and arrested and put him on trial for, what was it, malicious use of telecommunications. They have, like, harassment, cyberbullying, basically. That's not really what the law is for. The law is not there to misuse uh, by a judge to try to silence someone who feels legitimately aggrieved. Someone's child is dead. The court probably, she should definitely remove herself from that post. She should not be an acting judge. Um, she, she had this person witch hunted after, and now he's been acquitted. The jury found him not guilty. That's kind of sane, uh, because, I mean, think about the alternative. Let's say you start saying you can put someone in jail or find them for saying that they're going to, you know, uh, that they think that the court has done them wrong and they're pissed off, basically. So you can't even express displeasure with a court decision without it being a threat if the judge happens to randomly, arbitrarily take it as a threat? Well, again, that violates the First Amendment. So it's, it's a wonderful decision. It's a wonderful day. He should turn around and sue immediately, I think. He should probably drag the court uh, through uh, the ropes, uh, through the ringer. It'd be interesting. Uh, and even if not, I mean, at least the people there, I, I think, didn't I predict that they would acquit? <clears throat> Because I can't imagine any sane jury saying, well, this father lost his child. So he got a little bit irate and started posting things online that couldn't possibly be construed as actual physical threats. But he's in jail, but we're going to punish him anyway. That wouldn't make any sense, like, especially so you got to realize the jury is going to be comprised of people generally from that community anyway. Maybe, I guess, Judge Rancilio, not the most popular judge in the country right now. Why don't they uh, get rid of her, get her off of the bench? It's quite clear she's not going to be capable of proceeding with a straight face. She's been, she had her case completely dumped on. That wasn't even a, a long case. Like, how long was the jury even deliberating for? I didn't bother reading that deep in the story. Pretty sure it was a very quick deliberation, because I think Rancilio the other day had just given her own testimony. Who oh, felt threatened. Well, it doesn't matter if you feel threatened. It matters if a threat was actually made. He didn't make a credible threat. You can see the post right there. He didn't threaten you. He wasn't saying, well, I'm going to hurt the judge. Well, I'm going to jump the judge. Well, I'm going to defame the judge. He didn't say anything like that. He said that, well, he, I guess he posed with a shovel and said, well, daddy's still digging or something like that. Uh, I'm going to expose all the skeletons in the closet of this court. Well, that's not a threat. What? So is digging a threat? Is, is our skeletons a threat? Well, maybe if you threaten to turn another person into a skeleton... Like, I'm going to rip your skeleton out. Okay, that's a credible threat. Saying this, no, not even close. So, good on this dude. He should uh, he should continue doing his diggy thing or, you know, whatever he feels inclined to do. And this judge should be out. She shouldn't be sitting on a bench. Um, I don't see how any case can reasonably be decided by a person who believes. You can't possibly credibly presume that this law has anything to do with what he posted. So that shows an egregious level of ignorance on the part of the judge of the laws that she is sworn to actually mete out justice for. How can you have a justice like that? That's like saying, like, uh, let's say that a person had uh, a bunch of catnip in a jar and the police arrest them. They think it's weed. They find out it's not weed, but the judge just continues to insist that they should be hauled in on drug charges because they had a jar of catnip. Well, it looks like weed. I felt that it was marijuana at the time, so they should go to prison. You'd laugh at the judge. You'd mock them. You would demand that they leave. The people of this county should demand that Rincilio be kicked out immediately. She should not be allowed to be a judge there or anywhere else. Uh, she shouldn't be anywhere near law because she obviously is a uh, self-righteous individual. Uh, and, and she's wrong. The jury acquitted. It's, that's case closed, dude. He wins. You lose. You are wrong. Objectively so under the meaning of the law.
That's about all. Peace out.